everyone welcome back to my channel uh, it's been a long time and uh, so today i'm back with uh, a tutorial for uh, my uh, not notepad okay so um, so again uh, this is a continuation to my last tutorial for notepad plus plus so i talked about uh, uh, you know how to uh, run a macro how to record a macro and how to run it to uh, you know uh, uh, perform multiple uh, activities or you know perform repeated activities so that way you can ease your work okay so uh, yeah so this is the second tutorial for that and please watch this video if you haven't and this is my channel if you can haven't subscribed please subscribe for uh, such tutorials okay yeah so let's start so today in this tutorial I will I'll show you some of the tips and tricks that uh, that can be used in notepad plus plus to you know enhance your uh, work and performance okay uh, so maybe you 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 must be already aware about this but then if you watch this you will certainly learn something okay so uh, so we uh, uh, on the macro and recording and running already I've already discussed so today I will show you like so what happens is that when you work with notepad you work with a lot of files you know that is the reason it is notepad plus plus you know it, it, it allows you to work with thousands of files at a time it allows you to you know open several uh, files at a time and work with them okay but then what happens is that when uh, there are multiple files open you, you you face problem in switching from one file to another or finding the file you are looking for okay uh, for example I'll show you like there are these many files and you have to and also at the right side uh, you have uh, navigation to go right side okay so there are if th there are these many files how will you work with that so today if you watch this so I will show you some tricks so if what you have to do is uh, to to you know uh, combat this you have to go to uh, you have to go to file and then you have to open folder as a workplace okay and then it will ask you uh, to to open a folder where uh, your files are present okay that you want to use as a work work workspace okay so uh, i will it's there in my uh, in my downloads folder so i'll just go and uh, yeah so this is the folder i will choose so when I choose this, you get a, a folder as a workspace, and then you can categorize your files into a folder. For example, you can place uh, a one type of file in A folder, and then second type of file in B folder, and then again like uh, another type of file in C folder. That way, you can directly take that file from and open it from here, and it'll allow you to easily navigate from one file to another that is one of the way okay what is the second thing you can do is when you open a file uh, what happens is that uh, you only want to see it you don't want to edit it so what so how you can predict how you can uh, preserve uh, the editing so what you have to do is just have to go to the file tab and just uh, click on read only and then it will be become dark and you won't be able to edit the file I'm typing the key keys it's not allowing me to edit it okay so that is one way to save your file from editing okay what is the next thing that we you can do with notepad plus plus is that uh, see there are uh, several things that you can do uh, to ease your work so what you have to go what you have to do is you have to go to setting and preferences and then here you have a lot of settings that can help you okay for example uh, if there are like uh, 50 tabs open at the same time you can do multi line if you do multi line you see uh, the knob the tabs are not uh, not uh, vertical and uh, instead it is showing uh, on a multiple line and you can switch from one file to another very easily okay what is the second thing you can do uh, you can make it vertical okay so also at the same time you can close the folder box workspace and now you can see the tabs are vertical so in that way also if it helps you you can do that i'm just switching off the multi lines so now you can see the tabs are vertical okay so then again if you don't want that you can come back to your original setting 
okay and then there are uh, like you know several things like dark and the inactive tabs so only the one which is uh, which you are currently working on that is uh, highlighted and others uh, rest of them are you know dark okay so likewise you know uh, like uh, draw a colored bar so that way you see here there is a colored bar which is opening okay so these are the things you can do and then uh, document list panel so what it does is so it will allow you to switch it will show you all the files which are open here so it's a doc switcher so this is also helpful when you can you can see simply click on this and your file will be open so this is a doc switcher okay so that is one thing that can be helpful so that's all uh, i wouldn't want to make this tutorial a big one and then uh, mm, yeah and then uh, if you have any thing you want to learn or you want to uh, suggest please comment and uh, feel free to ask any questions uh, that's all in this tutorial and yeah please don't forget to subscribe and if you like find this uh, useful please share with your friends thanks for watching